Hi guys, so today I am filming this makeup look for you guys. This is a more natural slash back to school type makeup look. It's been like six years since I graduated high school, which is like so long ago. Back in school though, I didn't really care about makeup. I did not look good with the little makeup I was wearing by any means. I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. I hope this video will be helpful for you guys. And yeah, let's just get into the makeup portion of the video. Sorry if it's a little bit hard to hear me right now. I have my AC on because it's really hot today and I know I'm wearing a jacket, but I mean, it's my outfit, like, come on. This is like basically the makeup I kind of do every day here since in Hawaii, you don't want to be wearing a ton of makeup because that is just not going to be comfortable. For primer, you can use pretty much any drugstore primer. I know the Maybelline um, Baby Skin one's really good, but I'm going to be using the Ulta Fabulous Face Primer. This is like eight bucks. It's just a regular skill silicone primer it fills in your pores pretty well and um, I feel like on me at least it makes my makeup last longer my face is so much wider than my arm my whole body it's it's getting kind of out of hand now I'm going to go in with my like foundation I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer in the color natural and I'm going to be mixing it with this Maybelline Dream Bronze Beauty Cream, and this is in the light medium. This has an SPF of 25, and then this one has SPF 30, so. Wearing sunscreen is super important just for everyday use. I'm gonna take the BB cream, just put like a tiny bit, about that much, and I'm going to mix it all together. Tinted moisturizer doesn't give as much coverage as the BB cream, and plus the tinted moisturizer is a tiny bit too light for my skin right now. So, I'm just going to put this all over my face. I'm just going to go in with my Real Technique sponge and I'm going to spray a little bit of that. This is already wet, but I'm going to spray a little bit of the rose water on there. Just because I feel like it makes a difference. Probably doesn't, but... And I'm going to just kind of blend that in. This stuff is like 40 something dollars, like $44 or something. But holy shit, it looks so good. Especially because my face is so much wider than my body. It looks kind of weird if I don't wear any makeup at all in public. And so just wearing this alone kind of like it protects me from the sun. And then it also um, darkens my face so it matches my body. And I <laughs> so badly need that. But as you can see, like it didn't really cover like my pimples or anything like that, which is fine. That's not the purpose of it. The purpose of it is just to kind of cover your skin and make it a little bit more smoothed out. Love this stuff and then adding the bronze baby cream like darkens it. It also makes it more dewy and adds a lot more color as well. And this has a little bit more coverage I think. So I mean they're like perfect together in my opinion. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer and I'm going in with the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in the color custard. I'm just putting some under my eye. The Maybelline Fit one is like supposedly a dupe for this so you could use that. What the hell? Come here, boo. What the heck? Come here. Oh, you baby. Oh. I'm just gonna blend that out with my sponge again. And I'm gonna bring that concealer on my eyelid as well to prime. Now I'm going to go in with my highlight before I do my powders and I'm going to be using the Sleek Makeup Solstice Palette and I'm taking this cream color right here, the one that quote nobody uses um, except me, I use it. And this is like a cream highlight so it's going to look really natural but it is really really intense, like crazy intense for being a cream highlight and that's why I love it so much. So I'm just going to take it on my finger and just pat it on blend it out you can see how bright that is like why would nobody use this and then i'm also going to do the inner corner of my eyes and now i'm going to go in with powder and i'm using my rimmel state matte powder in the color 001 transparent and I'm just setting 
everywhere, except the highlight, of course. This powder is like a dollar, but it's amazing. Now I'm gonna go in with my bronzer, and I don't know which one I wanna use. They have these two. They kind of are the same, except this one's a little bit darker. I think I'm gonna go in with this Sephora one and then put a little bit of the butter bronzer on top just because I pulled it out of my suitcase because I'm packing for my trip to Nocturne. It's going to take that on this e.l.f. contour brush, which I'm literally obsessed with. It's so cute. I'm going to bronze up slash contour my face. And this brush, um, I've been using it for a couple days and it doesn't have any like hair fallout which I find is like a big problem with me when I use cheap brushes. I'm gonna go in with the butter bronzer. Oh, this smells so good. For blush I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild one. This is one of the ombre blushes in the color Mai Tai by You Drink so pretty it's like an ombre peachy color i feel like this one looks a little bit better than the milani luminoso like honestly a lot of people say that this doesn't apply to their skin but for me it does so i don't know i just kind of take a lot of it like on this blush brush kind of take a lot of it and tap it off and then i apply it to my cheekbones and then I kind of like dust it on my cheeks because I do have a really round face. So I don't want to put it directly on my cheeks. I love doing makeup like this, like super soft, like natural-ish makeup. I'm also going to take some of that bronzer and put it like here on my nose. Just so it kind of balances everything out. I'm going to be using this ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Waddles, and it looks like that. And this is like one of their newer eyeshadows, and I think the formula of this is way better than some of the older shadows. Like, I think it was the Amaze shadow, the like glittery gold one I was using, and I've used that maybe five times, like dipped my finger in it like five times, and I've already hit pan. So this one, I feel like because it's such a soft color you don't have to go in as much but I'm just going to like put that all over my eye and like in my crease as well just find out what eyeshadow color accentuates your eye color more or what you want accentuated about your eye color and just wear that all over your lid I feel like for blue eyes like oranges or like really warm browns would look really good and then for green eyes pinks or purples and then for hazel eyes I think hazel eyes it is really warm tones look really good, like oranges and then these pinky mauves, which I like personally a lot because they make my eyes look green. Now I'm going to go in with mascara and I'm using the um, Benefit, right? Yeah, Benefit Roller Lash. I'm going to go in and do my brows. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Soft Brown. Now I'm going to go in with my lip color and you can do whatever lipstick or lip color you want. I'm just going in with a lip gloss because this is what I like to wear pretty much every day. And this is the ColourPop lip gloss in the color Tight Fit and it is this kind of like pinky peachy color and they say that this is the sheer metallic but it's not that sheer. I like the way this looks I mean obviously you don't have to wear it with this lip but this is like my favorite like casual but not really casual um, lip product to wear on days where I'm doing more natural makeup to set everything I'm gonna go in with my Mario Badescu rose water again this stuff is amazing at setting your face and hydrating and making everything look well it's not gonna make your makeup last longer but it just is really refreshing and really nice for your skin so that is the final look. 
I hope you guys uh, learned something new from this video. If this video helped you at all, comment down below what type of videos you guys would like to see from me in the future. All my social media links are down below. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.